Hello everybody, Cody McIntyre here from Boss Poses 3D, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a texture roller from a flat plane in any image that you can find on the internet without using the displacement modifier, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is start by adding a plane into our scene. So I'm just going to scale this up just a little bit, I'm going to turn off the shading mode. And the first thing we're going to actually do is jump into edit mode and subdivide this just enough to get some uh, cuts, just enough to curve the plane. Because we're going to be using this and we're going to be wrapping it into, into a shape of a cylinder. And we're actually only going to be painting on one side of this, so I'm also going to be showing you how that's done. So the next thing we're going to do after we do the subdivisions is we're going to be adding a solidify modifier to it. And I'm going to bring it up to 0.02. And then I'm going to actually go into object mode and then just apply that really quickly and jump back into edit mode. Up at the top near edit mode, you're going to see, uh, you know, where your object mode and your sculpt mode tab is. You're going to see three little boxes on the side. I want you to click that third box there. That is your face selection. Click anywhere to deselect everything because we don't want to select the back of the model or the, the plane. So the next thing I'm going to do is just make sure my view straight and just come down and then select all of the faces. Now that all the faces are done, I'm actually just going to subdivide this a few more times. So maybe you can get one more and then go to face and then triangulate. So triangulate is just going to split all the little faces right there. And now if you notice that the other side is normal subdivision and then severe subdivisions, right? So that's pretty violent for subdivision, but we're definitely going to need uh, higher subdivisions or a dynamic topology to get the quality of the detail. So now we're pretty much ready to sculpt, and I'm going to be showing you how to sculpt on this side without affecting the other. So I'm going to jump into sculpt mode here, and now that I have my brush, we're actually going to create a custom brush, okay? So we're going to be using any image that you find on the internet, so make sure you download one, and that's the texture from like wood or whatever it may be. So I went ahead and I created myself a displacement map just to get a little bit finer of a detail. I'll be showing you how to do that in another tutorial. But, so we're going to be creating a brush, okay? So this is very simple to do, but we have to make sure we select the right brush on the side because these are the properties that are going to carry over with our texture. In this case, I just want to use the layer texture. I want to press N, and then I want to come up to Tool, okay? So now that you have these uh, modifiers at the side of your screen pop up, I'm going to come into Advanced and then click Normal View. So what Normal View is going to allow me to do is only paint on the vertices that are facing me. So in this case, it's the one face of this. So if I go on my layer brush and I paint my layer here, you won't see it on the other side. And that's what we want to do because we're going to be turning this into a cylinder. We want the inside to be smooth and the outside to have the detail. Okay. So now that we have all that, you can actually just minimize your advanced tab. And then you can come into texture, click new. And then over at the side in your blender properties, you're going to come down to texture and then hit open. Okay. Now this is where you're going to find your um, downloaded file. So in this case, I got this cool uh, stone texture right here. You also see it pop up right here. And that's pretty much all we have to do to get started here. So just make sure you turn your strength down at the top to something reasonable. That way it's not just, you know, over bleeding everything because the uh, density of this really does matter. So the next thing I'm going to actually do is just start by going along the plane. And as you see, we got some really good detail on that, which is nice to see. And this is all just from an image that I got off of Google in like three seconds. So I'm just going to make sure all of the edges are nice. It's good to set the persistent base right here. So it only uh, paints everything to a certain height and goes no further above it. But since this is a texture roller, we do want some depth into this. Okay. So now that we have that texture on and there's nothing on the back side. So now that you know how to paint on one side of a plane and not the other. This will not work unless you add this uh, solidify modifier because if it's just a thin plane, it's just sharing one face just on two different sides. So we want to actually give it a little bit of uh, thickness so we have two faces to the plane. Okay. So the next thing we're going to actually do is come into object mode. Now we're going to get ready to start making this uh, a cylinder. So what we're actually going to do is go to add mesh and add a cylinder. Okay. So we're going to copy the properties of this cylinder onto our plane. So now we're going to just going to reselect the plane, go into your modifiers with the wrench, go add modifier, and then we're going to go to simple deform. You're going to notice things can go all wonked out, and I'm going to show you how to fix this. It's not that confusing. It took me a little bit to understand it, but all I have to do is go to 360 degree in our angle, okay? And we're going to go to origin and set that to the cylinder and then set it to bend, okay? 
So now that we have that on Ben, we're going to select Y axis, and then we're going to come in and just move this green rotation. So you can click this wheel up here at the side in your tools, and then we're just going to nudge that. And you should be able to see the two layers that we're looking for, just like that. But this is backwards, right? The details on the inside, so we can actually just come back around like this. Hold shift, and then just kind of line that up, okay? Now, you're probably going to be want seeing this happen quite a lot when you're doing this, is this little gap right here. We can actually change this by going into the restrictions and just playing with this just a little bit. As you see, it's a little too far, just perfect. That's absolutely perfect, right? And the beautiful thing about this is we don't get that stupid line that goes around the thing. And if there is, it's extremely easy to fix. So now that we have the texture roller pretty much done, we can just apply this. Because if we don't apply it and then we delete the cylinder, it's just going to delete all of uh, the shape of this, right? So with this selected, I can actually go back into edit mode. And now you see that the top face is the only thing selected, right? We can actually select everything on the inside face. We can select everything in here and smoothen this out again. So if I wanted to now, I could do this and then add a subdivision with the, the cylinder already made. Oop, don't want to hit extrude faces. Knowing 3.5, yeah, yeah, we'll just kind of back out of that. There we go. Now, as you notice, that is actually starting to smooth. Whatever faces are selected are going to start to smooth. But as you notice, we have a really, really nice texture roller right here. And that's pretty much how it's done, right? Like, you can even uh, select all the inside faces, hit F to fill it. And you can add a hole and, you know, punch in your details and stuff. But from this point, all you have to do is make a plane, paint on your plane, and then you can wrap that around. I always recommend taking your plane and stretching it just a little bit to more of a rectangle shape because as you see it did stretch our texture to match the geometry of uh, the cylinder that we set it to the origin to and that cost us a lot of resolution but that's very very easy to fix but as you see we have a great little texture roller right here and that only took us a few minutes to do and we didn't even need to use the displacement modifier. So thank you all for tuning in today's tutorial. I am Cody McIntyre from Boss Poses. And if you liked today's video, please do like and subscribe and have yourselves a great day.